All right, hey, eighth grade math. This is your AMI day 14. Um, yes, I do wear glasses. I know I've never worn them at school, but it's helping to um, conceal some dark circles under my eyes from not sleeping very well. And um, helps me see my notes down here in front of me also. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you a lot. Today we're doing two-step equations. Um, and this is one of the things we were working on right before we uh, let out of school. So we're gonna practice that. Um, with two-step equations, I'm trying to figure out what x equals. So in this equation, I need to get x by itself. Um, to do that, I first have to get rid of this seven, okay? Right now, that seven is being subtracted from my three x, so I need to do the inverse of that. And the inverse of subtraction is addition. If you'll remember, I drew that line right here. Whatever you do to the left side of the line, you have to do to the right side of the line. So I'm gonna add seven to both sides. Negative seven plus seven gives me zero. And I'm gonna drop down my three X. 20 plus seven gives me 27. Now I'm still working on getting X by itself. Right now that three is being multiplied by that X. They're right next to one another, so that means they're being multiplied three times x. So the inverse of um, multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, And we know that when we write this x down here, it's got an understood 1 right here. We don't have to write it though. x equals 27 divided by 3 is 9. And I finished that problem. Now we can check this, make sure we did it correctly, by taking, if x is equal to nine, I can take my original equation up here, that three x minus seven equals 20, and I'm gonna take this nine and substitute it in for x. This is just checking my work, okay? So three times nine minus seven. I wanna know if that's equal to 20. 3 times 9 is 27, minus 7 equals 20, and 27 minus 7 is 20, Whoop. and 20 is indeed equal to 20, so your math checks out. All right, let's try one with a fraction in it. Um, I'm going to start this off the same way I did the other one. I'm going to get rid of this 3. Right now it's being added, so I'm going to subtract three from both sides. I'm gonna bring down my one half X equals 24. Now this is where I have to divide by one half, okay? And I could take 24 and divide it by a half. I could also get rid of this fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal. So one half, the reciprocal of that, remember that's taking a fraction and flipping it. I'm gonna multiply both sides of this equation by 2 over 1. Okay? Whenever I do that and I do 2 over 1 times 1 half, whenever I multiply fractions, I'm multiplying straight across. 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. So this gives me 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So we're crossing that out just gives me a one so I can drop this X down. There's understood to be a one here, so I don't have to write it. And then I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. I'm gonna multiply 24. If I wanna turn any whole number into a fraction, I put it over one, because 24 divided by one is still 24. I'm still gonna multiply straight across. 24 times two gives me 48. 1 times 1 gives me 1, but I know that any number over 1 is just itself because 48 divided by 1 is just 48. And again, you could plug this back in for x in your original equation and check it if you need to. All right, last one. We're going to do one with a fraction again. Um, I'm still going to start this off the same way. I need to get rid of this 1. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides and 3 fourths x equals 30. 31 minus 1 gives me 30. 
Now I need to divide both sides by three fourths, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by four thirds. Okay, over here, this cancels out and just gives me a one. Four times three is 12, three times four is 12, 12 over 12 is one. So I'm gonna drop my X down here. It's understood to be right there, that one. And I'm gonna look at 30 times four thirds. Now I can put my one under here and I can multiply straight across. But if you'll think back to, this is another little trick. When you're multiplying a whole number times a fraction, and this would work in our last problem too, what I'm doing is I'm taking 30 times four and then dividing it by three, okay? So 30 times four, if you wanna type that in your calculator, you can. 30 times four, actually I'll do that over here to the side. 30 times four is 120, okay? So I've done my whole number times the top of this fraction, now I'm gonna divide by three. So 120, divided by three, and if you want to type that in your calculator, you can, but it gives me 40. So X is equal to 40. Hope you guys are doing well. I miss you.